Welcome friends. Today I will show you the solution for osteoporosis. Follow all the information in the video and then click on the official link in the description and in the first comment. Join our page and stay on top of everything good for your health. Now that I no longer suffer from osteoporosis, I can look back at it as just a horrible but distant memory. These days I run no risk of fractures or breaks in the way I did then, thank goodness. But at the time, it was no joke. I'd fractured my ankle stepping off a curb. I hadn't slipped or stumbled. I just put my foot down normally and the ankle gave way. My health practitioner was worried that such a simple act should result in a fracture, so she sent me for a bone density test. My T-score came back as minus 2.9, which meant not only were my bones becoming more fragile, they were wholly in the osteoporosis range. That was a heck of a shock. I mean, I ate very well, including lots of milk, cheeses, and greens, which are the very best source of calcium. I didn't smoke. I always felt okay. I considered myself to be a healthy person. So how on earth did I end up like this? Naturally, I wanted to be quickly rid of this condition. But more surprises followed. The first surprise was finding out that there's no such thing as an osteoporosis specialist. There's no particular health professional you go to when you find out you have the condition. And so, one reason that osteoporosis care isn't exactly great is because nobody in the health profession actually owns the condition. Depending on your own GP's judgment, you could be treated by an endocrinologist, a gynecologist, a rheumatologist, an orthopedist, a geriatrician, or a physiatrist, plus possibly others. Second surprise was that there are drug treatments for osteoporosis, as we might expect, but they're long-term, unreliable, and riddled with side effects. I don't mind admitting I was very upset when I found out I had osteoporosis. The possibility of further fractures or breaks scared me, to be honest. And I'm not ashamed to say that even though I had supportive family and friends, I felt very alone with the disease. I joined some support groups so I could be with people like me, but some of the news coming from them was very discouraging, which led to the third surprise. A number of them said that dealing with ongoing pain was all part of the package for them. There comes a point, they said, when hurting was just normal. I wasn't prepared for that at all. Naively, perhaps, I had expected a cure. I certainly didn't expect to be in pain for large parts of the rest of my life. Yet it turns out that for some people, the side effects of some drug treatments were worse than the pain. The surprises kept on coming. It was as I began my first course of meds that I found out disturbing news about some of the better-known osteoporosis drugs. Namely, if you ever come off these drugs, then the rate of bone deterioration actively increased. Consumer watchdog groups discovered that once you were off the drugs, bone deterioration picked up so severely that you could experience a broken bone without any physical trauma having caused it. This married up with stories I heard of people fracturing vertebrae because they sneezed. I hadn't quite believed those stories. They were being confirmed by consumer groups and other anecdotal evidence. I slowly realized this could be my future, too. Planning to be disabled? Knowing that osteoporosis would take an ever-increasing toll on my body was a lot to bear. The thought of ending up in a wheelchair because my pelvis or ankles had fractured once too many times scared the daylights out of me. In fact, it was a joke among some sufferers I knew that they were getting ready to pick out canes and walkers for their future selves. They cheerfully described how they'd decorate their wheelchairs. I didn't find this funny at all, yet they were only half joking. So many people with osteoporosis went from able-bodied, mobile and healthy, to broken and wheelchair-bound very quickly. Not the future I wanted. I have to say, the thought of my future self shuffling along with walking aids frightened the life out of me. The knowledge that as the months passed, my ever-weakening bones were making it more likely that I would again fracture an ankle or a hip or a vertebra made me miserable. I searched the internet for some sort of method that would help relieve me of this dreadful illness. I looked at acupuncture and Reiki and all sorts of stuff I would never in a million years have considered before. I found nothing that offered even a glimmer of hope. And then, one day, standing in line at Walgreens of all places, I got talking to a man who changed my life. I was buying painkillers. He was buying hand soap. 
We were just chatting, and it turns out he too had once suffered from all the usual symptoms of osteoporosis. He'd had a terrible time of it too, but he didn't suffer a single symptom anymore. He told me that at one time his vertebrae were so badly affected that he'd lost half an inch in height. Over several years, he'd gone through a cocktail of different remedies and painkillers, and he enjoyed partial success with just one of them. Even so, his T-score, which measures bone density, was steadily worsening. More slowly, but still worsening. He'd patiently tried all the standard treatments and meds because he wanted to treat his osteoporosis properly. They hadn't worked out. But in the end, something else had worked out for him. Spectacularly well. He'd been introduced to a natural health practitioner who already had fantastic success treating untreatable conditions. Her name is Shelley Manning. Her expertise is in uncovering the core underlying causes of an illness, the actual reason why we have an illness in the first place. In particular, she looks at the lifestyle factors that make that particular illness almost inevitable. It's always something we do that is the initial first cause of many health conditions. Keep in mind that osteoporosis doesn't just happen. Something causes it. And it wasn't pharmaceutical drugs that caused it so it's not pharmaceutical drugs that's going to undo it. It's lifestyle habits that get us ill. Simple as that. Shelley's success is in finding out exactly which lifestyle habits have led to our illness and then creating a neat, easy-to-follow program that treats those root causes. She's the opposite of many drugs-led treatments whose primary aim is to treat symptoms. They attempt to somehow tackle the disease at the surface so that it doesn't feel so bad. But drug remedies for osteoporosis are guaranteed to be toxic and have a near 100% chance of producing unpleasant or unbearable side effects. They also have a terrible track record for actually resolving osteoporosis symptoms. Whereas Shelley Manning has created the Bone Density Solution, a phenomenally successful program that directly tackles all causes of osteoporosis without requiring medications, treatments, or medical bills. You didn't get ill by taking drugs, and you won't get better by taking them either. Shelley restores health by undoing the very behaviors that destroyed it in the first place, which makes sense when you think about it. Over a thousand success cases. Shelley has generated over a thousand delighted customers, people like me who genuinely thought we'd end our lives in wheelchairs. It now doesn't matter why your bones are steadily becoming weaker and more brittle. The bone density solution hits every possible cause. And when the causes are gone, so are the effects. The changes Shelley advises us to make are powerful. Just the right changes in just the right ways, but they're simple. Follow the instructions, be a little patient, and bit by bit, your bones can't help but regain their full density and strength. I ordered the bone density solution the moment I got home and started acting on it that afternoon. I no longer suffer osteoporosis symptoms anymore, and I never expect to ever again. Why does the program actually work? To restate the obvious, osteoporosis doesn't just happen. There are specific reasons for it. We've known for many years what some of those reasons were. Doctors addressed the causes that they understood, but the causes they didn't understand carried on uninterrupted. So they were always tackling part of the problem, which is why they got partial success. Until they knew what they were missing, they were never going to be completely successful. But we know now what that missing link is, and Shelley's program hits all causes of osteoporosis, including that missing link, hard. How it works. Let me tell you how her approach did for me what years of doctor's treatments failed to do. First, a very quick look at how Shelley's solution was so different to anything I'd tried so far. She takes two main routes. One, movement, two, nutrition. I was familiar with both. My physician had suggested I join a gym and lift some weights. Good advice? I don't know. I certainly didn't go anywhere near a gym. It's just not for me. But Shelley shows simple ways of incorporating some effective osteoporosis movement into a busy schedule, movement that toughens up bone every time you do them, movement that even I could do. My physician also told me to eat less bad food and, in particular, consume more calcium. I did both, and it made no difference at all. 
although once I'd put Shelley's program into action, I finally understood why eat more calcium was, on its own, silly advice. Osteoporosis, the missing link. Some of the exercise advice given by medical professions is difficult to implement. I know that. I never managed to follow any of it. Quite a bit of the nutritional advice they give is wide of the mark, and again, it's vague, too general, and hard to put into practice. In the rush to give us drugs, Dr. Lou sight of, or don't even know about, the much more basic causes of what is weakening our bones. Because there's a specific reason why we fail to shake off osteoporosis. It's because we aren't tackling what fuels the disease in the first place. And what fuels the disease are these. Too many of the foods that cause bone loss, not enough of the foods that promote bone formation, the wrong balance of foods needed for a healthy gut. The human body is complex, and the route to keeping it healthy and avoiding disease is complex. Yet, in practical terms, it all comes down to eating more of the right foods and less of the wrong ones. Shelley gives us a comprehensive list of each, and some very straightforward meal plans to ensure we get as many of the good ones into our diet as possible. That's really not difficult at all. And while this guidance alone is better than anything I ever got from any other health professional, it's the gut health advice that I believe made all the difference. Inflammation and osteoporosis. The World Health Organization, WHO, states that chronic inflammatory diseases are the most significant cause of disease and death in the world. In recent decades, the number of inflammation-related diseases has rocketed worldwide to the hundreds of millions. In the U.S., over 800,000 people a year die from inflammatory disease. There are many, many inflammatory diseases, heart conditions, autoimmune diseases, joint conditions, allergies, liver conditions, kidney disease, hyperthyroidism, arthritis, the list goes on and on. And that list includes osteoporosis. A review of studies published in the Journal of Endocrinology found that high levels of inflammatory markers in the blood stop the body from remodeling, which means creating new bone. In healthy bodies, bones break down and then renew all the time. It's an ongoing natural process. But if you suffer osteoporosis, then your breakdown and renewal process have become faulty. You're breaking down a little more bone than you're renewing. That deficit continues over time, steadily thinning out your bone density, leading to fractures and breaks. Mine used to be exactly like that. Inflammation is a direct and indirect cause of that faulty bone renewal process. It is absolutely vital that it is properly and thoroughly addressed if we're to restore our bones back to their healthy condition. No help from standard medicine. And what do our general practitioners do specifically about the inflammation cause of osteoporosis? Not a thing. Not a single thing. Instead of repairing the broken breakdown renew process of our bones, they continue to push remedies that attack symptoms, but which leave the causes firmly in place. It's a losing battle. Inflammation is in the gut. Chronic, ongoing inflammation is not directly felt. Instead, it's experienced through any one or more of the many diseases it gives rise to. I mentioned a few earlier, heart disease, high blood pressure, organ diseases, and so on and osteoporosis. So, as an added bonus, if you address inflammation in order to end its effects on your bone health, you're possibly also helping yourself out with other conditions, too. So, how do we address inflammation in order to prevent it ruining our bone health? The key to preventing inflammation in the first place is to keep the gut healthy. A healthy gut is literally a healthy body and mind. Tackle gut health and everything changes, and it changes quickly. Gut health. And this is what the world's leading researchers have now confirmed. Poor gut health is a primary cause of widespread body inflammation, and gut health is directly affected by the bacteria in your gut. Yep, bacteria. The word bacteria always sounds a little dangerous when we first hear it. Yet bacteria are simply unicellular microorganisms, neither good nor bad in themselves. And what we know is that a great many bacteria are actually very good for us. In fact, the bacteria in our guts perform life-giving tasks that our body is unable to do for itself. A shortage of good gut bacteria is directly implicated in a dozen common Western illnesses. We would actually die without our gut bacteria. 
Shelley goes into a little more detail about this in her program, but we know that an unhealthy gut environment means that the number of good, life-enhancing bacteria is simply too low. And when this has been going on for long enough, it causes ongoing low-level inflammation. In fact, poor gut health is what underlies tens of millions of cases of inflammation-based disease. This is scientifically confirmed the world over. The inflammation is low-level, but it persists year after year after year and does its damage slowly but surely. A healthy gut, which basically means bacteria that are fed plenty of good, varied food, is a gut that doesn't provoke inflammation at all. In other words, it's a gut that does no harm anywhere in the body. Inflammation and Osteoporosis As my gut gradually regained its proper functioning, body inflammation faded away. And so the causes of my bone problems faded away with it. My condition couldn't exist anymore because it had run out of causes. A gut-friendly diet is super easy. The foods that do most good are available in local supermarkets, and there's lots of them. The two keys to regaining a healthy gut in order to tackle inflammation are, first, know which foods are essential to gut health, second, to eat the right quantities of them in the right combinations. We also reduce a few items that aren't helpful, but we don't ban them. The list of foods that don't help us is short, but it does include a couple that are generally thought of as healthy. It's important that we know, and once we know, then it's plain sailing from there, which incidentally worked out well for me. I ate almost everything I liked. I ate lots of it, and over time, I still lost eight pounds of fat. That's the power of great gut health. Job done. I know I would never have turned my health around if I'd stuck with a standard medicine route. Modern medicine simply doesn't address this inflammatory route at all, yet that's now known to be where all the damage starts. The bone density solution gets to the heart of the matter. It undoes the very things that caused the illness in the first place. And that's why my bones are now solid, strong, and I expect they're going to stay that way for the rest of my life. Osteoporosis Magic Delivered in 14 Habits Despite how incredibly well this program works, the bone density solution isn't actually a health miracle. Shelley is simply using what the best U.S. and European research institutions have been uncovering over the last 10 years or so. Her program just tweaks our day-to-day -day lifestyle back to health. She's not throwing out our lives and starting again from scratch, but these tweaks are just the right ones. They ensure we have maximized what helps us and minimized what hurts us, which means that growing bones become increasingly strong and abundant, not increasingly weak and brittle. And the reason this program is so easy to actually do is because Shelley sets the whole thing out in 14 small steps. Take on a new step every day or one step every couple of days. There's no rush. Whichever habits you introduce first, your bones will thank you almost straight away. I succeeded one day at a time. All I had to do was begin. And once I'd begun, things took care of themselves. And now? I had two bone density tests in the first couple of months after starting Shelley's program. I could see with my own eyes just how effective these bone strengthening measures were. My goal is always to get a T-score of minus one or better. Minus one is a sign of completely healthy bone density. Zero is a sign of strong bones. Plus one is becoming superhuman. The first few weeks of Shelley's program got me from minus 2.9, definite osteoporosis, to dead on minus one. I would have settled for that. These days, I have my bone density measured once a year just to ensure I haven't slipped. My T-score has improved a little further. I'm at plus 0 0.5 now, which may mean my bones are stronger now than they have ever been in my life. Now, does this mean my osteoporosis is gone? Well, I don't know. What I do know is that I control my symptoms now rather than my symptoms controlling me. Shelley's program is my normal daily habit now. I don't even think about it and it delivers such excellent results that I expect to have strong, reliable bones forever, which is exactly what I had hoped for when I first found out I had osteoporosis all those years ago. And you? Once we realize our bones are thinning, then it's clear we're either on a route to osteoporosis or we've already arrived. But the condition doesn't stand still, which means if it's not good now, it'll become bad in time, and then very bad thereafter. 
It's a future I wanted to avoid more than I've ever wanted to avoid anything in my life. Crutches, wheelchairs, and the possibility of becoming bedridden due to immobility. It makes me shudder even now. Don't let this be your future. You deserve better. The people who care about you agree. You can start repairing your body's natural bone creation process in this minute. Shelly's solution is available right now. There are well over a thousand happy clients now, so the program itself is fully guaranteed. Click below, get your copy, and start turning this thing around. You will be so glad you did. Tackling osteoporosis while we can. Remember, osteoporosis is a condition of deterioration. It gets worse, in other words. The sooner we intervene, the easier it is to restore bone health and then live life as the healthy person we want to be. The later we intervene, the longer it takes, and the more likely we're going to end up with a fracture or break that completely upends our lives. So the time really is now. With Shelley's The Bone Density Solution, the time can, in fact, be roughly four minutes from now. You can quite literally start saving your bone health in the next few minutes. It makes no sense to leave it. The problem is right here, right now. So is Shelley's solution. Click below to get it now. Start making the difference you need straight away and reclaim your healthful life once more. The point of no return. There is a point at which the fractures and breaks in a person's body become irreversible. Yes, the bone heals, but it isn't restored to its former self. There's about 300,000 hip fractures per year in the U.S. About half the people who experience one will never walk unaided again. About 15% need long-term nursing care. Tragically, a quarter of them will be dead within a year. The man who introduced me to Shelley's program, the man I spoke with at Walgreens all those years ago, had spent years trying to rid himself of osteoporosis. He'd suffered considerably before he finally tackled it properly. He couldn't undo all the damage to his spine because it had gone too far. So while he was grateful to have finally halted the damage, he was still paying the price for having addressed it so late. Don't do this to yourself. Shelley guarantees her results, and you need those results. You can get them, starting right now. Click below to order the Bone Density Solution right now and finally address your bone health while you still have time to get it right. And don't forget to buy at the official link that is in the description and in the first comment. Like and follow our page to always be well informed. To the next.